hi friends welcome back to live tutorial with laravel 8 so we are discussing about library and in our previous video we have installed library so if you go to the project directory and check the composer json so here you can see that is library installed so basically it's installed 2.3 version of library so in this video we will going to create a component and we will pass parameters so how we can pass parameter through library component okay so go to the terminal so let's create a component first so just dropping the server so write php artisan make colon library and the name of the component suppose here I will write a component that is parameterized component. So write param component. Okay. And if we just enter this, we will get the two files created. That is one is class file and one is view file. So basically, if you go to the app HTTP library, we will get the parameter component. And if you go to the view, so resource views library param component dot blade dot php okay so with the component creation we are getting these two files so just go to the directory and here if you go to the app http and inside the http we will get the library folder and inside there we will get the class file that is param component and here you can see the by default we have got the render method and this render method is by default called the view that is inside the library param component so go and check so inside the views we have a library and we will get the param component dot blade dot php okay so basically this is the class file and this is the view file so if you write anything inside this view file we can get the output okay so suppose i am writing any text suppose inside the h1 tag i am writing some text this is from library blade okay and to display the output we need to call a routes so just create a route and we'll call this class so go to the routes we'll use web.php so just first use the traits that is the param component so write app http library and the class name okay so here my class name is param component okay and to create a url so very simple just create a url that is route get so here i am using the request as a gate and suppose the url is param component okay so you can add your any names for your own purpose and then the class name and colon colon class okay so if we just go to this section we can see the output from this view file so just run the server so write php artisan serve okay so now click on this url so just go to the browser so just write here the param component okay so we can see this is from library blade so basically this text is displaying from this blade okay now i want to pass any parameter suppose i want to pass the parameters like here i want to pass learning points okay so this time it's saying the 404 not found okay so how we can pass any parameter so instead of learning points we can say uh, the php so it is also showing the 404 not found so how we can make this component as parameterized so very simple so just go to the web.php and here just write a parameter suppose here we'll write the param okay and accept this parameter from the class file so this is my class file is param component so just write here public dollar 
variable that is dollar param okay and we will create a function that is public function and we will create a mount function so this is the mount function basically mount is a hook function which executes before calling the render method okay so it will call before this method okay so now just pass this variable here dollar param and here we will write dollar this param equal to dollar param okay so as it is executes so we will get the variable inside the param and we can access inside the param component blade file so very simple so just add this param inside the param component dot blade file so here i am creating again ace to tag and inside the ace to tag we will print the output okay so just write dollar param okay so now go to the browser and refresh this page so here we can see this is from library blade for this section and we'll get the param that is php so if you write it here laravel we can see the output as laravel if we add the library we can see the library okay so basically this is coming through the parameter okay so now if we don't pass this parameter what happened okay so again it's showing 404 not found so here i want to accept both things so if we want to pass any parameter we will display otherwise it will not display so how we can do this so basically we need to make our routes as optional okay so if we add a question mark after the variable so basically this will become the optional parameter okay so we need to make the optional parameter in the class also so very simple so if the parameter have not value will by default it's provide a null okay so if the parameter have a value we will just pass this otherwise it will, it will pass the null okay so now just refresh this so here we can see this is from library blade but if we pass any parameter we can see the output okay so in a single routes we can manage two types of request okay so we can pass parameter through the library component and we can display this from the library blade okay so this is the way we can pass the parameter library component so if you have any queries about this video just comment in a below comment section next day we will going to learn about one of the most useful things that is library property okay so we will learn how to initialize property how to bind data and all related things about library property so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye